Salutations, this is Grim Devel. Welcome back to our Let's Play of Dwarf Fortress. Still 44.09, although I will say that I read... I'm recording this on Sunday, uh, April... What is today? April 15th. And uh, I read uh, Tody Wan Tarn Adam's uh, latest devlog. And he talks about how he just put in a short-term memory system for the dwarves. Where they can remember like seven or eight short-term memory things at a time. And that... That makes me so excited. I'm so excited for that sort. I love that sort of thing. Um, I feel like that's going to fundamentally change how these dwarves behave, and that's just awesome. Anyway, uh, before we really get into things today, not that I have any like really big plans for this episode or anything, I don't think, but uh, I was reminded that we can set order here with the O button, and here we can change things like... Right now we are, um, first of all, announcing some job cancellations, most job cancellations. Let's make this a little bigger here. Um, I think we want to actually keep that at some, but it's nice to know that we can remove job cancellation spam. Although it is good to see some of that sometimes. Um, we can change a lot of this stuff, and I always forget about this menu, but I want to look at refuse specifically. Uh, and dwarves, I want to not ignore refuse from outside. I want to gather those bones in, I think. We will still ignore vermin remains, but otherwise, let's gather refuse from outside. And if that becomes too burdensome, we can always turn that off. Um, so that's cool. Anything else we want to do? Um, forbid orders. Let's not forbid used ammunition. I never really understand why that's a thing. Um, do we want to forbid other death items? I don't think so. Let's claim everything. Um, and then dwarves gather minerals. Yes, absolutely. And wood and all all dwarves harvest. Oh, yeah, cool. Mix food. Yep, sure. Workshop orders. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is important. We are going to auto do all of that, but that is nice to know. Um, and lastly, activity zone orders. Prefer zone. Okay, yeah, looks good. Cool. We're going to continue. Uh, I think we just have some hunting going on here. That's very nice. I do want to increase some military... I, I do want more military dwarves. Specifically, I would love to send out... I feel like it's about time to start sending out another group on, like, a raid um, off-site. Because I'm pretty sure the one person that we sent off to do that isn't coming back, ever. I think he's dead. He's got to be dead at this point. I was watching... Um, an episode of Birdie Bot's uh, Current, I think. Maybe la maybe it was her last series. And uh, she sent somebody off, uh, like a, a group of people, and they came back, like, right away with a bunch of artifacts. Wait, wait, oh, wait. Actually, I think it might have been Civilians. Sorry. I watched both Birdie Bot's and Civilians Dwarf, uh, Dwarf Fortress uh, series, and you should check both of their channels out for Dwarf Fortress. Um, that's how I found both of them, and they're both great. Anyway, um... And I'll also, I'm also playing uh, Eco and Project Zomboid with both of them, as well as Day from Wee Hours and Penge from the Geek Cupboard, if you don't already know that. Um, so anyway, I would love to actually send out more, like a team of people. Denied. And I don't think they necessarily have to be all that great. I still want, I, I guess we should, probably should still ramp up our, like, armor creation. Um... So let's do that. Also, look at all this. This is, is this just a lot of bones and stuff and teeth? This is too much. Uh, do we need to, maybe we can like allow bins here? Is that a thing? Are we not currently allowing bins? Additional options. Um, disable. We want to keep corpses. Oh, max barrel, max bin. Yeah, um, let's... Let's say, put bins in here, for sure. Um, I guess you can put barrels in here. I don't know what you store stuff with, but yeah, do it. Put bones in bins. I feel like that might solve a big problem here. Okay. So we'll do that. We, it looks like we did mine out all of this. So let's um, maybe put some more nest boxes in there. Yeah, capital N. Uh, I'm not sure how many we have on hand, but we'll put... Oh, we have a bunch. Okay, cool. Boom. Boom. I don't think we're going to be able to quite fill all of these little slots, but... I'll do this side a bit. 
I don't think I'm going to put in another door here. On this side, I don't think there's any need for it, really. Um, but this will give them more space. And I think now... Yeah, I'm going to... Ooh. I guess I will need to remove this pasture. I can't just expand it. So remove it. Do it. And then we'll create a new zone. That is... All of this. Did that... Oh, no. Not remove. Okay. I. Okay. Boom. Um, pen. And all of our fowl. We have a rooster, a turkey hen, a hen, gander, gobbler, turkey hen, gander, guinea cock, goose, gander, chick. We actually do have some... I guess we did have some... Uh, some chicks and stuff hatch. Um, piglets, war lion. That's right. I was re It was uh, recommended to me that we uh, assign the war lion to one of our military dwarves, and I think that's a good, not a, uh, a good idea. I would love to do that. Cool. That should do it. Um, so let's do that. Let's assign that war lion to one of our military dwarves. Crypts of clinching, and I guess to Fath, our hammered dwarf. I guess. Now he's also, is Fath also our hammerer? Uh, not what I meant. Um, yes. Fath is also the hammerer. But you know, I think, I think that's, I'm fine with that. I think that's kind of cool. Um, now how do I assign that animal to you? I do not remember. Animals. Stray war lion and... Um, toggle pet availability. No. Um, I can select trainer. But that's not what I want to do. It's probably in the military screen. I'm probably just not seeing it. Um, maybe under equip? No. Boy, I don't actually know how to assign... Uh, a war animal to a particular dwarf. Um, maybe if I go to that animal, let's, um, can I just view you? Uh, no, I guess not. Uh, what if I go here, go to pets, and find that lion? Why can't I find that lion? Am I, there you are. Then go to unit. And combat, new job, um, profession, waiting for conflict. Uh, yeah, I don't see anything here about assigning you, unfortunately. A large, ferocious predator found at the grasslands. So I don't know how to do this. Um, I don't think... Uh, yeah, I don't think there's anything I can do with any of the other buttons here. But there you are. It's got to be something in the animals tab. Toggle pet availability isn't doing anything. We are, you've already been trained for war. You are a work animal. I mean, I guess I could select trainer. It's only showing people with animal training skill, I believe. Um, but right now you don't have a trainer, do you? Or any, you know, any trainer. I guess that's fine. All right. Um, so if someone knows how to assign, I guess I can look it up after this episode. I'm not going to do it right now. But, uh, that's going to happen. <laughs> All right. So armor. We definitely need more armor. Just copper armor is going to be fine for our purposes right now. Um, Metalsmith's Forge. We are making copper cages in theory we definitely need to be smelting and i'm not sure that's happening and it's probably because we don't have enough charcoal even i mean we have wood but it's just hard to keep up with the charcoal because we need charcoal for so much 
really, I think to solve all this, and this is what I think we've kind of been repeating, is that we just need to find magma and build some magma smelters. And that's going to be awesome. Did we ever look at these? First of all, who is this goblin? Oh, it's a goat, not a goblin. Although we do need to do something with our goblins, too. Um, I want to look at these pillars. Engraved on the wall is... Uh, Mr. Unlikely did this. Uh, the selection of Edzul to the expedition leader. Maybe we did actually see these. Mechanisms. How about this one? Yeah, founding of girder diamonds. Yeah, okay. That's cool. That's cool. Also, do we have more bookshelves? I would love to put more bookshelves in here, if I can remember. Bookcase. Alt-C. Uh, I really want to, like, line all the walls with bookcases. That would be awesome. Let's put them in the corners here. Uh, right here. Yes. Phylite. And... How about some, like, against this wall? Out of phylite. I feel like I'm mixing materials here and not realizing it. And then one here. And that will be something for now. Okay. And how's our museum? Just fine. I think we have another pedestal we can assign an artifact to. Um, what are we going to put? Um, you are a silver cage. Ooh. I don't know. A limestone ring. Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's put the ring in there. Can I put more than one item on display on a pedestal? And then we can put something here, also. Um, pigtail choir. I think that's fine. Any choirs and stuff are... Actually, I think I like them in the library. So, maybe I do put the silver cage here. I think it's the only artifact left that's not... Yeah, we'll put the silver cage here. Okay. And I think that's all the artifacts we have that aren't um, codices. So that's cool. Uh, we do have a lot more people. We have people actually worshipping in these tiny little temples now, and that's great. I did forget, like I said I was going to do, to assign the other little temples to the uh, lesser worshipped gods, but that's okay. Uh, we have a lot more of these guys. Uh, we have uh, coffins, and I do want to set them all to be used for burial. It shouldn't take too long. And how about over here? Oops. There we go. Yeah, these are all fine. Okay. Very good. And uh, let's also smooth out these columns at least. All right. And let's continue to look for magma. I really want to make that the top priority because that's going to solve tons of our problems. Even if the magma is super, super deep, it's still going to be better than having to smelt charcoal or burn charcoal constantly. So I guess we keep going down here. Right? Yeah. Let's go all the way down to negative 20 and see what we can see. All right. I'm sure they'll let us know if they find uh, if they find anything. So I really do want to create more armor and uh, create another military squad, but I guess it wouldn't hurt to create the squad now. We did just get, you know, I'm going to pause it and let's open Dwarf Therapist because we did get another migrant wave and we haven't really looked at them. Let me um, sort them by migration wave. And let's go all the way down. Yeah, look at all these new people. Oh, no, we have someone that was just born. Okay. So, ooh. So one of our new people is a legendary stone crafter. That's awesome. Also, <laughs> a, a uh, great gelder. That's fun. Yeah, you can certainly geld. Ooh. <gasps> someone came with legendary armoring. That's fantastic. Fantastic. Um, that's really nice. Okay, um, so let's look at, that's really, that's great. Is, does anyone like not have anything to do? This one is just doing architecture and that's it. So we can definitely have you fill some gaps. Um, 
like, I don't know. Um, we don't have anyone doing a lot of like pottery and glazing um, or strand extraction. I'm looking for like twos. We only have two people doing weapon smithing and two people doing blacksmithing. Although I think I'm going to have the armorer do some of that because those skills should cross apply. You can furnace operate. Um, all right, I think that's fine for you. Who is uh, the third one from that bottom row? You do some animal dissection, trapping, animal care. And above you, we have a butcher. And that's all you do is the butcher. Let's have you, butcher, do um, leather working. That makes perfect sense. Okay. Good. Commit. But the real reason that we wanted to do this was because I wanted to look at the military stuff. So military... We want to maybe make a new squad. And who would we put in this squad? Um, so we want people... This is still sorted by migration wave here. So the newer people shouldn't be in any squad. And we do have some of the newer people with some fighting ability here. Um, even someone with a kill. Yeah, look at all this. Okay. Uh, do I write these down? down can i put them in a new squad i think i better write them down um yeah hold on so we have who do we have here in this migration wave we have um i'm just gonna put everyone with some ability Cyril. we have dishmab we have kib we have logum we have tobol you know what i think i'm gonna this is silly i'm gonna i'm not gonna do this on camera I'm not that ridiculous. I'm going to do that in between episodes. So after this episode, I'm going to go ahead and create a new military squad with those people in it. I'm not going to bore you with all that. Um, let's put in some doors here. And I think we just got a, another masterwork door, right? We have a couple. Look at these Gabro doors. Yeah, let's put them here. Because this, I believe, is going to become our main throne room at some point. And we have any other, no other masterwork ones, but we can put some nice Gabra ones here. Okay. Fine. And they'll need to smooth that out, but we don't even have a Baron right now or anything. I guess I might as well put in the order to smooth it. Um, I'll put it at a higher, a lower priority though. A five. Okay. That good. That's good. That works for me. All right, how are we doing on the mining? I guess I should set like a deep mine hotkey. Yeah, why don't I set a hotkey right here? Um, shift H. I'm gonna say shift seven is gonna be down here. Uh, zoom here, change name, deep cave. Okay. Yep, and they are mining down here. Wait, what was that? Oh, job item lost or destroyed. Cancels make drink. What? Um, interesting. A pool of plum wine. Did someone break a jar of wine? I think someone made of, might have broken a jug of wine here. What happened? Uh, hold on. Is there, like, a broken pot? Limestone, large. I guess someone just spilled it? Is something weird going on down here? I think we do need more pots and more bins and things, but... I don't know, actually. I believe we still have a job for pots and bins. Um, here's bin... Oh, no, and uh, we don't have... Oh, wait. We have at least 20 empty bins, so we do not need new empty bins. And where are the pots? Pots, 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 pots. Pots, pots, pots. Seriously, where are the pots? Oh, right up here. And we are making more pots. Okay. 
cool. Come on, find some magma. Wood opal, that's great. Um, something just stopped. <gasps> yes! Yes, yes, yes. Okay, I think we may have finally found some magma. Well, we definitely found magma. Um, yes, you're going to keep stopping here. Because there's magma around. And hopefully we'll be able to exploit this. It's going to keep pausing. And I'm going to keep not noticing that. Yep, keep on pausing. We're just going to keep canceling some of the mining jobs around the magma. But they'll mine what they can. We don't have a ton of stuff that we have set to uh, mine out. Okay. Oh, whoops, it's paused again. See, it keeps happening. Okay. And they're continuing... Ah! Did I say interrupted by a coyote? There's a coyote around here? Let's hunt it. Um, I don't see it. Uh, others. Oh, a lot of coyotes. Okay. Oh, yeah, here's one. Yeah, here's a whole pack of coyotes. They don't seem... I mean, they are pack animals. I guess I, might, I should maybe be a little afraid of hunting them, but I don't think they're attacking me. I don't know. I don't think they're hostile. I should be wary of attacking a whole pack, though. And it looks like people are just keep, like, running away from them. Oh, uh, I think I just removed this, and I, I'm i pretty sure... Uh, I don't know what to do about this. I did finally put another farm plot over here, and that worked out. All right. I'll put another, another floor in right here. All right, so magma. Magma is top priority. Okay, we haven't like fallen in here or anything, right? Let's uh, let's cancel these mining jobs. Okay. Um, so this right here, semi molten rock. Okay, so this isn't lava; it's just molten rock. And right here is also magma or lava or something. Hmm. Um, let's mine. Oh, okay. So now we can see where the warm stone is. So let's mine here. Let's just mine a little bit this way. Oh, um, I'll put the priority back. In fact, let's make this top priority. Or just... Just a higher priority of three. Um, and resume. Brewing drinks. Oh, and that reminds me. Um, I really do want to keep uh, plant thread at all times. Um, and I think the problem was I was trying to, last episode, create uh, cloth from plant thread. And it was canceled because we didn't have any plant thread. But we need to actually create the thread from the plants. And I don't know if we actually have a job for that. So let's... Whoops, what am I doing? Uh, we do want... I keep hitting the wrong thing. We do want that. I'm hitting MU instead of UM. Um, thread. Do I see a job for th thread? Spin thread. Here is spin thread. And let's take a look at that. We don't have any... So this is from hair or wool. Um, and we don't have any of that. But we need another thread job. For plants. Spin thread. And we'll do... We'll do one at a time. Uh, condition. RP. Yeah, so this is what's weird. It automatically puts as a reagent hair wool body part, but we don't want that. Um, let's re... Let's, um... Get rid of that condition. And add another one. Um... Condition, uh, we want plant, uh, no, no, wait, what, what did I do? Um, item type, no, uh, plant, 
items, paper plant items, extract bearing, just plant items. And not um, hair, wool, body part. Not body part. Uh, so that would be item type. Body parts. Not. No. Uh, we want thread producing. Extract bearing paper plant. We want plant items. Oh. Um, this is what I meant. Thread. I don't want I don't want it to be a body part. You know what? Just get rid of this. Um, remove item condition. D. Add order condition. Um, no. Uh, add. <laughs> add condition. What is wrong here? Add condition. That's not what I want. Oh, A. There we go. Amount of items, and it's going to be item type. Plant uh, amount of plants that are of the trait thread. I don't know. Plant, plant plants, extract bearing. They're not extract bearing. They're thread bearing, or cloth. Um, weavable. There's probably something, some trait for this sort of thing. But I don't know what it is. Plant items. Um, it's not weavable. Uh, processable? I guess it could be processable. I don't know. Um, I'm just going to say... Wait, so we actually, we have thread, but it's not cloth thread. We want this to be cloth thread. Um, so change traits, uh, not uh, change item type, cloth. No, cloth thread. Ah. How do I change material? Any cloth, regular cloth. Uh, I think it is traits. But cloth is not a trait here. This is uh, annoying. Plant thread? Plant thread. We'll try this. I don't know. I, I mean, I, I, that might just always be a true condition, but that's fine. We'll get a lot. Well, if we start getting like tons of spam about that, I'll remove it or something and figure something else out, even just do it manually. If you guys know. If, if anyone knows, like, a better way to continue to process plants into thread, please let me know. I mean, here's the loom. Um, weave. And we need plant thread. How do you get plant thread? What's the process for getting plant thread? I wonder if it's, if you do it, like, at a screw press or a choir? Um, plant, plant slurry, but that's not it. Mill plants into uh, mill plants, but that wouldn't do. That would be for like flour. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I would think the loom. Fighting. Oh, oh, they actually are fighting. Wait, planter charges at planter. Oh, we actually killed a coyote. That's good. Did the coyote actually hit us at all? Um, yes, bruising, but that's it. Unfortunately, our planter has a silver mace, so that probably helped a lot. <laughs> a whole lot. Um, yeah, we are definitely beating these coyotes up, which is great. Some more meat, some more bones, some more fur, some more hide. Excellent. Uh, good thing our planters are mostly military dwarves, I guess. I guess we'll just let that happen. Okay, how we doing? How we doing with the magma? Okay, so... I guess we will mine down. Do we channel? Let's channel this out here. 
Like right here, maybe? Um, actually, let's do it just, just those two first, and we'll see what we get. Someone's coming to do it. Come on, dwarfs. Dwarves. Let's find some lava. I would love to get some lava before we end this episode. Leaves empty bag. Yeah, bags are still a thing. But I feel like it's because we're not processing plants. Because we should be making plenty of... I mean, I think plenty of rope re of uh, pigtails, rather. And we should be able to make stuff out of those pigtails, like cloth and bags. But I could be wrong. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, there is magma all around there. You know, I think that stuff is actually safe to mine out. But I could be wrong. And then below it, I think, is uh, not safe. Let's try it. Um, let's cancel. I can cancel uh, this one. I think we shouldn't have any dead doors because of this. We know all that is warm stone, but I think it's because there's lava below it. Not next to it. And hopefully we don't all die here. What did that say? I thought we only had one of these and I thought it was stolen last time. It's gone though. Uh, we're making Seymour Bellows. Okay, cool. Making wood bolts. Alright, this is good so far. And then... Let's uh, mine some downstairs. And see what we find. Um, downstairs. J. Like. Yeah. Like that. And we'll see. Come on, dwarves. Yes! We have discovered a great... Magma C and raw adamantine praise the miners. Excellent. So on that note, ooh, and there's uh, definitely a lot of raw adamantine that we can safely mine here too and extract. That is great. I say that, and that could be the beginning of the end of our fortress. But, oh, excellent. And look right here. We can actually just open space here. Oh, the magma... We're actually pretty far above the magma. But I think we can continue to mine down here until we get to magma level. Yeah, right here. This is magma flow. So I guess we go right here to this open space, build a floor over it. I think that's going to be the plan next time. So thanks for watching, everybody. Um, please leave comments. Let me know what you think. I really enjoyed playing with you today. And I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.